I think accountants are going to struggle with the new changes because their whole method of operating is different. It's very much based on compliance. Bookkeepers are different. Bookkeepers are there as a constant. They're in day in, day out, and they do the work. They're almost like a member of staff even when they're freelancers, and I think that's the important thing. The other problem that I think accountants are going to have is that they are much higher costs normally than bookkeepers. So if a business is going to need a lot more handholding, they're not going to want to pay somebody uh, who is charging a lot more money for whom the, tick, uh, the, the clock is ticking immediately. Um, but also I, I, I just think the relationship between bookkeeper and client is completely different to accountant and client. It's, it's much more we're in this together when you're a bookkeeper rather than I'm the accountant and you know, you, I'm going to tell you how to do things properly or unfortunately seven or eight months after the year end exactly what it is you've done wrong and you really shouldn't have been doing it that way. Yes, I think so. Um, a lot of what a bookkeeper does and has been accused of doing, the number crunching, uh, it, it has actually been important for bookkeepers. It's what they do. They deal with all those odd receipts and invoices that don't reconcile, etc. A lot of that will be automated. And, and the whole uh, focus of what we've been doing here at our conference is to show that this is exactly what's going to happen. But actually, working with the figures, even if they are automated, it's still the job of the bookkeeper. Because businesses, if something is simpler, it doesn't mean they're going to understand it anymore. So the bookkeeper is still going to need to be there to show them the way, to explain what the figures are doing. And just do more of the uh, service side of their business, to work with their clients to make sure that they plan the business together, they make sure the cash is coming in, uh, the credit control is done properly. And uh, I think it's a win-win all round. To be honest, there's been a lot of negative publicity about MTD. Uh, we don't see it. This is a major opportunity. I think the work of the bookkeeper is the same in virtually every country that we've been to. I mean, we have students and members in 110 countries. There are one or two that are different because of political or social or religious reasons, but actually uh, bookkeeping is bookkeeping right the way around the world. And these changes that are happening in the United Kingdom are just being mirrored everywhere else. We have some bookkeepers over this week from um, Hungary and they're saying that their government have just put out similar consultation papers. And I think this is just happening everywhere. And, and it's caused really by this huge advance that's been taken in technology. And we can't fight technology, and really we don't want to. We want to adapt to it, adopt it, and just get on and do a much, much better job. Um, and it will just save us more time, it will give us uh, more opportunity to focus on the real stuff that we do, which, which is making sense of the books, not just compiling the information. Yes, uh, Jennifer, War Jennifer Warworth from Sage sat in my office just probably a couple of months back and said, why is it that people are so tied up with month-end accounts and year-end accounts? Accounts are a live thing, you know, they happen on a day-to-day, hour-by-hour, minute-by-minute basis. Uh, we expect to know what's in our bank now when we ring up or go onto our iPad or our iPhone. Uh, we should have the same ability with accounts and the technology is there and, and allows that to happen. The only difference I think between bookkeepers in different parts of the world is that in some countries uh, the accounting profession has uh, been a little more restrictive and, and in some cases, particularly somewhere like Germany, heavily restricts what it is that a bookkeeper can do and they've enshrined that often in legislation. Thankfully, the British government and particularly the people that we've been dealing with at HMRC and the Treasury have realised that actually bookkeepers are good for small business and if small business gets its house in order and it's looking after its uh, accounts properly, then it concentrates on running in the business, they concentrate on making sure they expand and grow and small businesses growing, absolutely brilliant for the small business, the bookkeeper and obviously the country.